my name is Kimberly and welcome to my new booktube channel the audiobook reader and today we're going to be doing the newbie booktube tag because why not and I'm a little nervous and it's exact questions that I can answer and I think it's a great place to just jump in and get started so let's do that all right from what I found, the originator of this tag is Brenda C, but I'm not 100% sure. I will link what I know down below. This, of course, is a tag that has been done thousands of times, and it's one of my favorite tags to watch um, just to get to know people. Um, with that being said, let's start with question number one. Why did you start this channel? I started this channel probably for the same reason that most people nowadays start a booktube channel, and that's because one, I love books, two, I want to talk about books, three, and I want other people to talk about books to me. So most of my friends and family, while they love books, they think I might have a problem. Maybe I have a problem. It's up for debate, but anyways. Um, I just love the booktube world from what I have found and just want to create my own little niche here that we can talk about books. So, original answer number one. Question two. What are some unique and fun things you can bring to booktube? Well, if you notice my name, I have it as the audiobook reader. I love listening to audiobooks. Um, to give you a little bit of background for myself, I have severe dyslexia, and reading physical books has always been something that has been a major struggle for me. I Another thing, too, is I also um, have an auditory where I hear things weird and I, I stuttered for a major part of my life so just talking can sometimes be hard but anyways <laughs> um, so something unique and different that I might be bringing to booktube is that while I talk about while I'll be talking about books I also want to talk about the narrators of books um, because they are also such a huge part of my enjoyment of books now you might be asking yourself you have a lot of books behind you, Missy, and yes, I do. Um, this bookshelf here, most of these are books that I either had as a kid or even more so ones that my mom had. My mom was an avid reader, and I just have so many great memories of my mom reading. This is a book that she had from her childhood. Um, you know, here, it's the Junior Deluxe Editions. Anyways, so things like that. Um, and books are also memories for me so I have that a lot of the books on this side are either textbooks that I had for college or a lot of them are my husband's books um, he's also an avid reader and uh, actually reads physical books so um, I just thought it was a good backdrop <laughs> question number three what are you most excited about for this new channel I am most excited to talk to people about books, to learn about more books, and to grow in being able to talk about books. Right now, I'm not the best at being able to describe books to people, and honestly, I think it will just be kind of fun to look back over the year and see how far I've come. Let's hope I get better. <laughs> seems like most people I've watched have gotten better over time. Um, I decided that I wanted to step outside of my comfort zone and boy am I just leaping right on in. So I'm excited to meet new people. I'm excited to talk about books. I'm excited to talk about narrators of books. Um, there's so many good ones. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave that question there. Number four, what do you love about reading? Well, I'm going to give probably the generic answer in that I love disappearing into new worlds um, for reading. I love learning about new worlds, whether it's fiction or whether it's nonfiction. I love escaping into either other people's problems or <laughs> that I can say, hey, that's not mine. Or I love escaping into a world that is just unlike ours. ours. I um, also just love learning about new things, um, whether, again, it's fiction or nonfiction. Um, 
I tend to read a lot of like fantasy or urban fantasy. I have um, some mysteries that I love. I like some romance. I um, love historical fiction. Uh, absolutely love historical fiction and sci-fi, especially if there's time travel involved. Time travel, awesome. Number five, what book or book series got you into reading? I remember as a little girl, do you remember those like the little record players and it was like the Disney read along books and you would, you know, it would read and it would thling, and then you would flip the page over. Um, I loved listening to Winnie the Pooh. I loved listening to Pinocchio. Um, I loved uh, the Jungle Book. Um, all of those books. Like I just remember like sitting in my basement and having the um, the record player. <laughs> so those kind of books, I guess I got into audiobooks pretty young. Um, but more recently, in about, well, I guess 20 years ago um, now, about um, in 2004, yes, 2004, I, uh, someone introduced me to the Outlander book series, and Davina Porter is the narrator of those books, and I just loved how she brought characters to life in those books. Um, yes, it took me a little while to get through them because it's so long. Some of the characters really annoyed me. Uh, they're, some of the rape scenes, all of the rape scenes are just too much, but um, I was able to kind of skip through that a little bit. But in general, that series I think brought back brought me back into wanting to listen to books. Um, it's historical fiction, so I loved learning about um, that time in Scotland, and it had time travel, and <laughs> I love time travel. I love medicine, um, and so I loved how Clara was able to use um, herbs and things like that. Uh, so it had a lot of aspects of books and a lot of tropes in books that I absolutely love. And so it was a great way to kind of bring me back into the world. So I always have a little bit of a um, soft spot for that series. Um, I understand why people don't like it though. Number, let's see, number six. What are some questions you would ask your favorite booktuber? Will you be my friend? <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> um, I think I would ask, how do you balance everything? Like how, uh, this is going to be a fun hobby for me. Um, I want to make sure that it's fun and that it's not something that's like work. Um, but I also want to be consistent. Um, that's just part of like my goals for 2021 is being consistent with this and being able to put out content for you. Um, yeah, I think I'll probably do a bunch of tags and you know, some of the wrap ups and some of my favorites, some of the like booktube classes um, but I also am curious like how do you come up with original content um, you know I don't want to just be like cookie cutter um, but you know so I guess like how do you balance it um, editing <laughs> we'll see how that goes again we're gonna have fun to see between January 2021 and January 2022 just how far I come along this year let's hope and pray that I do number seven Seven. <laughs> I don't know. What challenges do you think uh, starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Um, I think the hardest to overcome will be being consistent and not getting too stressed out about putting out videos. Uh, that is not something... I want this to be fun. Um, I think editing might be a little tough. Uh, another huge thing is actually being able to describe books in a way that people want to listen. Um, and yeah, so a little, uh, so those are the questions, but I am excited to start a booktube channel this year. I've been thinking about it for the past year or so, and I was listening to Krista um, Book and Jams, um, her I think 5,000 subscriber um, live show with Amanda, Lindsay, Sarah, 
Anyways, and there were some people there talking about how they wanted to start a booktube channel, and they just said do it, um, that they wish that they had started it earlier, and I figured why not? Uh, what's the worst that can happen? Um, no one likes my videos, but hey, I'm still talking about books in front of a camera. Um, and then after I listened to their live show, I did another live show with um, Completely Melody uh, uh, for their Book Bookmas channel. Um, Bookmas, anyways. And uh, they people there were talking about it as well. So yes, I know there's a lot of booktubers now, but hopefully. You know, my main goal is just to find a little small tribe of people who want to talk t about books with me. So, anyways, if there's anything that you would like to see from me, you know, comment down below. Let me know what kind of books you like, what kind of um, film, like what kind of videos do you like, what would you like to see. My next video tomorrow is actually going to be a TBR game because... I love TBR games, and I think this game, while based like off of TBR games, um, I haven't found anyone else that has done this particular game. Uh, it's not to say it's not out there because I'm sure there's someone who's done it, but um, so come back tomorrow and we'll see what I'll be reading for January. I can't wait. Thank you for sticking around and I will talk to you later. Bye! Some good tea. Who's that girl? Hello and welcome to my channel. My new booktube channel. you know that you needed me in your life. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay.